Today marks 25 years since the Labor Day storm hit central New York. Oh, it hit hard here. Two workers actually killed when the storm went over the state fairgrounds, and there was just widespread damage all over the area. And it was a very eerie feeling, the atmosphere, the, the sky, um, it was different. Uh, we could hear it rumbling probably 15 minutes to 30 minutes ahead of time. It was the first time in my life I'd ever heard anything like this coming. I got up and I looked out and the sky was literally green. I mean, the car was just rocking back and forth. I was seeing the stop signs, the power lines, the trees blowing. It was dark. You expect things to be lit up at night in an urban environment, and it wasn't, and that was a real creepy feeling. There were power lines down everywhere. It kind of looked like a ghost town. We just couldn't believe what we saw, because uh, this huge steeple was just right down in the middle of the street. And we were starting to get a sense then, just what we were dealing with was not just your typical little storm. This was a disaster. Anyone that lived through the Labor Day storm of 1998 has a memory of it. It raced through central New York just after midnight on Labor Day morning and left a path of destruction unlike any storm we've seen before or since. Thousands of trees were destroyed, changing the landscape. A quarter of a million people were left without power, some for up to a week. And at the state fairgrounds, two people lost their lives. It was a vivid reminder of the power of nature. The storm struck right at the end of the long three-day Labor Day weekend. It was the unofficial end of summer. Nice catch. Trips to the beach were planned. Grills were ready for a final barbecue. For still others, Labor Day would be a chance to check out what was expected to be a record crowd at the New York State Fair. Through Sunday night, they were just 20,000 people shy of breaking one million visitors for the first time. Even on a holiday weekend, news was happening. One of our videographers, Eddie Jones, was out covering an overnight news story. It was just before 1.30 on Labor Day morning when Eddie took a detour coming into the city of Syracuse. He was traveling along North State Street, and then he took a turn onto Hickory. It's at that point when the full fury of the storm hit. Oh, Lord, please. What am I doing here? Oh. The car was just rocking back and forth. I was seeing the stop signs, the power lines, the trees blowing. I decided to try to roll down the window on my left-hand side to try to shoot on the opposite side. That didn't work because the rain was just coming in. It, it was like being in a wind tunnel. But then you had all this rain that was coming down in debris. As soon as the worst of it let up, Eddie was one of the first people to document the storm and the damage it had done to Syracuse. It was the middle of the night, so at first it was tough to assess just how bad the damage was. So then I went down James Street, and that's where I saw tons of water just going down the street. There. And, and at that time, um, the fire department, Syracuse Fire Department, were out of quarters and going to scenes. And when I was driving, you can hardly drive because there were you know, trees down, limbs down in an area. So I just went around trying to get the fire department, try to get this areas, because I was listening to the scanners where everything was, because it was sporadic. It was pitch dark, you understand. So if there was bad damage, I really couldn't see much of that. I knew, I know that driving through the streets to try to navigate through that was very hard and things of that sort. But I didn't know the extent of the damage until I got back, gave that, and then they sent the crew out because I heard about, you know, the fairgrounds. And the power was out here in the studio, yeah. so I remember I had to anchor with flashlights and using our live truck. Yeah, before to we had generator, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Hey, if you want to see more of our look back at the Labor Day storm, just head over to localsyr.com. Lots there.